very intrigued to talk about this movie, to say the least. It is quite the uh, mind bender. Uh, <laughs> Jemima and Kate, I'll, I'll turn to you first. What about this project really caught your interests to want to be a part of it? Oh, wow. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> just jump you, 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 you go first. You go first, Jemima. Um, Sorry. I, when, when I read it, um, I, I'm a massive fan of kind of old uh, horror movies like The Omen and Rosemary's Baby. And, and um, I, I loved how kind of quiet and still it starts and that it's, you know, it's all about the character. And, uh, but then it completely surprised me at every, every few pages. I was suddenly like, whoa, I was not expecting that. There were bits that made me laugh. There were bits that were really creepy. There were bits that were just so bonkers, but it was brilliant and really entertaining and, uh, and a page turner. And that's literally all you could you know, ever want when you receive a script. And uh, and yeah. Then, yeah, and Kate Dickey was being talked about. Oh, like, oh. well, I was the same about, because I'd heard Jemima Rupert was involved, and I was like, oh, I love her. But also, I agree, Lying. it was like, no, I am not lying. If we were <laughs> close, I'd come down and offer to fight you, so don't, <laughs> don't mess with Celia. Um, no, I agree, like, the script was like nothing I'd ever read, and also I'd never... Yeah, it's like Jemima said, every time you turned a few, you know, every page and you thought, okay, that I've seen the wildest thing that could happen now. Other things happened and I just loved it. And I loved, um, like I'd never played such a selfish mum before actually and someone so focused with her own agenda. And that was really interesting as well. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of things attracted me. Um, but Ben's writing and Jemima's involvement were kind of up there for me. So Ben, I'll turn to you now. Uh, I love that this is, you know, you, you took your short film and you branched it out into a full feature. Uh, I, as someone who loves like lights out, I think that's awesome when it, when that gets to happen. What was that like for you though, getting to, you know, take something that you had done and expand it into this wild ride. I mean, excuse me. I think the main thing is just, it was, it just, you know, it was fucking amazing. Just an amazing opportunity after, you know, uh, toiling away for quite some time to try and get my, my debut feature off the ground. Um, obviously I'm just, you know, I'm just thrilled and to be, to be doing, you know, this kind of thing is just, you know, is I'm literally living, living the dream. Um, but the, the process itself, um, uh, I mean, yeah, it, the, like the, short, the short film is it really has almost nothing to do with it, with, um, um, matriarch in terms of like the actual plot itself, or the very, the, the, the very, very basis of it, you know, there's a there's a kind of a toxic relationship between a mother and a daughter, is carried over um, from the shore. But that's, and I suppose there's some water, there's a there's a pond, I guess. But I mean, that's that's really <laughs> kind of much explored. But um, I mean, basically, that when when so yeah, I made I made Earn um, for Hulu, and then they kind of said, do you think you can, you know, adapt it into a feature? So obviously, I said, oh yes, definitely, of course I can. And with no idea of what that would be, and then kind of started writing it. But the um, but the first there was a, like a, a version, um, or a, like a couple of versions before arriving at, at kind of what was originally Worm to now Matriarch. Um, that, that again were like nothing like uh, Matriarch. There was a, I wrote I wrote an outline for something that um, was kind of basically Relic. You know that, that kind of that Australian. I think it's Australian. Yeah, it was kind of basically that or very very similar to that and then I think I wrote something else that was very very similar inadvertently to something else and then that I can't remember so yeah it, it kind of you know it took a while it wasn't you know just a, a jump a quick jump from from Earn to Matriarch in the way that um uh my a, a short film of mine from a few years ago called The Stomach I'm trying to make a feature version of that and that feature script is you know the, the it's the same characters the premise is the same you know it's kind of it's it's goes in goes into kind of new places and new scenarios and there are new characters and stuff but that's a much straighter you know that short expanded whereas you know um earn to matriarch is you know kind of took quite a kind of um wiggly route well uh i i, I love that it took that route because the the final the final destination is exactly what it should have been uh right. 
it's it's creepy it's uh ominous it's all that good stuff uh before i let you all go jemima and kate i'm curious you had such you know your your relationship is so central to the story of the film i'm curious what it was like developing a rapport with one another uh prior to filming uh, we had a, a, a really lovely rapport, didn't we, Jemima? And, I, and, and it's so important. If you've got characters that are going to be button heads and, and, you know, having scenes that where they don't get on, it's really important that you have a rapport and a, and a feeling of safety with your co-star, which I had so much with Jemima. She's amazing, wonderful to work with. Uh, well, like, yeah, I feel exactly the same about Kay. And it is weird because we had very, you know, there was so little time before mm. we all kind of jumped in and embarked on it. I think we had like one day of rehearsals together where we yeah. met and first talked about it. And it was the first time that any of us were face to face. And that that could be really daunting and it could be really worrying. And actually it it was just sort of like, it's fun, it's scary. We jumped in and I yeah. think... Luckily, Kate and I are quite similar and we just want to sort of, we just want to do the graft and get on with it. And I think when you both kind of sign on to this thing, there's something in it that grabs you and takes you. And it's sort of, luckily, there's a sort of shared spirit, I think, that we had and, and that makes it all easier. Definitely, definitely. Well, I'm glad you got to have that experience. Uh, I'm glad that the film, uh, you know, it's that it turned out the way it is because it really is. It's it's a slow burn that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate, especially in time for the Halloween season. So thank you all for for taking the time to chat. I, I greatly appreciate it. 